Good morning guys, how are you? Welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. Okay, I'm talking quiet because it's only 4.45 in the morning. I have to leave at six today to go to the airport. Um, I wanna get a few things done in the kitchen that I didn't get done last night because I tried to go to bed at a decent time. Okay, so I have to go to a different airport today. There's really only two airports that I can fly out of here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, one is in Moline, which is where I normally try to fly out of because it's only like half an hour away from my house. The other one is Cedar Rapids, which is like an hour away. Um, that is the one I'm going to today. I, I told you guys this I think last time I traveled. I never normally am hungry super early in the morning, except when I like get up and have to go to the airport. Then I'm like, oh, I need something to eat. So I just stopped at McDonald's just because it's quick. I didn't really think to bring anything with me. So I just got a uh, sausage and cheese McMuffin. And then I'm having my energy drink. Someone asked me if I'm no longer drinking coffee. And no, I still drink coffee. I mostly just drink it at home because I can make it correctly. Um, but then like when I'm traveling, there's not always, I don't know, there's just not always good, good coffee. So it just depends. It must be a very complicated order at 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> guys I'm popping in here to let you know that today's video is sponsored by Lumi and the reason why I wanted to integrate Lumi into this travel video is well for a few reasons so most of their products that I have are conveniently sized that they are actually appropriate for carry-on travel which is awesome for me because I take these shoes with me when I travel pretty much every time they're dance go dress shoes and you don't wear socks with them. And guess what? Sometimes when you wear them all day, they make your feet stink. What is the best thing to wash your feet with is this Lumi acidified body wash. I've talked about this before on my channel. I've used the regular unscented kind for years, um, but I also have a couple of scents. They have a peony rose, which is actually my favorite scent that Lumi has, and then also the clean tangerine. I love this acidified body wash, and you can basically use it on any part of your body, but like I said, I typically use it like on my feet specifically, and then like sometimes on my armpits. What I love about Lumi is that it was actually invented by a gynecologist, and what makes Lumi deodorant different is that it's a whole body deodorant for more than just your armpits. It actually stops odor before it starts and is clinically proven to block body odor all day and continue controlling BO for 72 hours. It's also aluminum free, baking soda free, and clinically proven safe for your skin. You can choose from eight different scents that are all unique. It's pH optimized to use anywhere on your body and doesn't stain your clothes. I also love that Lumi has um, a cleansing bar. So if this is something that you're interested as opposed to the body wash, you can grab this one as well. They also have wipes. These are super convenient for travel too. Um, this is the cool, the cool cucumber scent. They smell really good and I just love how little and compact this package of wipes in. I can throw it in my travel bag. And then you guys know I love their deodorant. This is actually whole body deodorant, but I typically just use it on my armpits. This one is the Peony Rose Solid, which is again, my favorite scent. And it does not leave a white cast when you put it on as you can see. I seriously hope you guys check out Lumi. They are having a December deal for last minute shoppers. The Lumi holiday bundles are now up to 40% off. Plus if you spend $30 or more, you can get $5 off with my code gen five. This is for new and returning customers plus 
you'll get free shipping. So you can get $5 off when you spend $30 or more. Plus you're going to get free shipping. This is actually for new and returning customers. Just use promo code Gen5. That's J-E-N-5 at the link in the description box below. I will also have it on the screen right here so you can tap there as well. So all you last minute shoppers out there, don't forget to grab your Lumi using my link and discount code down below. I'll have that in the description box. And thank you again to Lumi for sponsoring today's video. I love working with them. I've been working with them for a long time here on my channel. Hey guys. Okay. So I got to the hotel, I think right before 7 PM and it's now 8 45. I went down to the lobby and I worked for a little bit in the lobby, had a few drinks and I ordered Panera for dinner. So I got one of their like Mediterranean bowls. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Like this was one with like chicken and grains and um, greens and it has like Kalamata olives and feta cheese in it. It's really good. I actually want to try to like recreate it from home or recreate it at home. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so right now I need to work on some YouTube stuff because it is vlogmas and that means by golly, I'm going to post a video every stinking day. <laughs> Even if it kills me this month, it's always a fun challenge. I wanted to show you what I ordered for breakfast because I was trying to figure out what to do for breakfast. Okay. So we have to leave the hotel tomorrow at 6 30 AM. I don't know when the hotel serves breakfast, but I do not want to spend any time like waiting in line or ordering breakfast or anything like that. Cause I don't think they have like a free continental breakfast. So here's what I did when I was ordering my dinner. I was like, okay, what can I order from Panera for breakfast? So obviously they have bagels. So I ordered a bagel. Um, I got the Asiago cheese bagel. I'll maybe see if the lobby or restaurant downstairs has a toaster, but if not, I don't care. I got cream cheese to go with the bagel. And then I thought I need something with protein. Well, you can't really order breakfast sandwiches at nighttime at Panera. So I got some hard boiled eggs oh, and then I ordered a tube of yogurt because apparently I'm a child and a banana. <laughs> so I figured that will be enough. I can either eat it like on the way to work or when I get to um, work tomorrow and it'll just keep me going until lunchtime because I'm not sure when lunchtime will be. So what I think I'm going to do now is I think I'm going to unpack my stuff, hang up my clothes, see if I need to iron anything for tomorrow. It's going to be a super early morning. So I definitely want to take a shower tonight. So I think I'm going to do that and then I can just spend the rest of the evening until I go to bed. Um, editing this video that I want to get live tonight. All right, so here's something silly, but if you've never thought about this before, you can use, well, most of the time, if you can get to the HDMI cable, you can actually use your TV in your hotel room as a dual monitor for your laptop. I did get it to work this time. I don't always get it to work, depending on like where the TV is situated, if I can get behind it, but yeah, it makes it easier then <laughs> so I can edit this dang video. Okay, so let's see what I need to hang up. I am switching hotels in, well, not the middle of the week, but I guess the last night you would say I am switching hotels in order to just be closer to the airport. Um, my flight actually does not depart until like 4 p.m. Um, on Thursday when I'm leaving but it's just easier a lot of the times to like especially since we're in a place that's like an over an hour away from the airport we flew into a lot of times it's just easier to I don't think I brought the right shirts with me <laughs> I was packing this morning at the last minute oh my gosh that's fine we'll make it work anyway what I was saying is that a lot of times it's just easier to drive to the airport like the night before and then like find one of the airport hotels. Like I'm actually staying at the Bradley airport Sheridan, um, which like you don't even need a shuttle cause it's just like directly connected to the airport like this. I did not, I did not mean for this to go together, but does it go together? You guys, this looks like an outfit that my mom would wear. Why am I wearing this? Why am I wearing this? It needs something black underneath like this one. Okay. Like this one. I like this one. Okay, fine. Maybe you're arguing that it is something that 
both of those things are something that my mom would wear. Well, I'm old now and I'm a mom, so I guess that's fine. Like, I'm not on TikTok a lot. Like, I go through periods where I'm on TikTok a lot and then I'm not on there and then I am. But like, I feel like the last time I was on there a lot, they were trying to give millennials shit about our fashion sense. And it's like, what exactly would you have us wear? <laughs> Like the, the op I feel like the options are not that great right now. And especially if you're plus size, the options are never that great. I usually get like mostly a 99.9% .9 of my work clothes from Torrid. And I do think that like Torrid has a pretty good selection of like, that's where all my dress slacks come from. Like all of my blazers and like, you know, shirts, what do you call them? What do you call shirts that go under blazers? Blouses, I don't know. So yeah, I don't know. I just feel like there are not a lot of good options, but then again, I am not a very good person to talk to about fashion at all because I wouldn't call myself fashionable in any sense of the word. Okay, so the other thing I like to do is if I have like toiletries, I'll take those out and basically like set them upright. So, for example, if there's like a moisturizer or something like that, then it can kind of go to the bottom of the tube and I have it all out. Or, you know, it's all primed, I guess you would say. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Oh man, I forgot to restock my Q-tips. Gosh dang it. It's always something. Last week I went on a trip and I didn't have enough freaking toothpaste. This week it's Q-tips. I might be able to find some downstairs though. And you guys, <laughs> looking at my chest as I unpack things, this is awesome. Hi. Hi. What you doing? Nothing right now. You have homework tonight? I already did it. You already did it? I saw you were out of money in your lunch account. I need to put some in there. Did you get all your stuff that I ordered from Walmart? Yeah. Okay. Was everything okay? Okay, you can call him if you want. Is he eating? I don't want to call him while he's eating. I don't know. All right. Well, I just want to... What? How's life? How's life? I don't know. It's just a long day. I was at the airport for like four hours. Felt. What? I felt. Felt? Is that a new thing that the kids say? That the kids say? That the youngins say? You said it was a long day and I said felt. Like I feel that. Oh. Okay. Well, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> like, you know when they when they say bet? Like bet, like what does that mean? Bet, like let's do it. Oh, I'm I'm hip now. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Bye. I love you. Bye. Okay, bye. Okay. Good morning. How are you guys? I gotta say, uh, I don't I don't feel as tired as I thought I would be this morning. I still do feel tired. I feel like I'm gonna get off work and take a little bit of a nap today. I really, really wanted to go to bed last night, but I stayed up and I posted my Vlogmas video, so cheers, my dude. This is the Celsius Arctic Vibe energy drink. It's pretty good. Um, I've had it a couple times before. By the way, my hair has gotten so long, uh, I haven't cut it. I don't know when was the last time I cut it. It's, it's been like several, several years. I am getting it cut. I can't remember exactly when. I think next week, maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, something like that. It's time, it's time to get like, probably, I don't know, like three or four inches cut off. It just needs it. Okay, so I have about 20 minutes to finish getting ready and uh, then I'm gonna go to work. And I'll see you guys this evening. All right, I just got back from work. It was a long day. It's uh, just after 5 p.m. And what time did I leave this morning? Like six. So I need to get into some comfy clothes, decide what I'm gonna order for dinner, and decide what I need to work on tonight. All right, you guys, good morning. I did not speak with you again last night because I basically fell asleep at like 9 or 9.30. I was so tired. 
I didn't really sleep great or for very long the night before so I just slept from like 9 30 till 5 30 this morning that was fantastic got up got ready um, I packed up my stuff because um, we are moving to a different hotel tonight closer to the airport I did get some holy shit that's hot I did get some god dang some snacks from uber eats last night in fact that is what i ate for dinner was popcorn <laughs> so i ate popcorn for dinner fell asleep so yeah i got a breakfast sandwich so i'm probably gonna eat that on the way to work and then um i also got some soda and water and one of these little tuna salad snacks for today so i probably won't talk to you guys until after work tonight until I'm at the next hotel, so I'll see you then. All right, guys, so since I've seen you this morning, I have uh, worked all day, and I'm kind of just mentally exhausted. <laughs> so um, we drove about an hour and 20 minutes to this hotel that is actually right attached to Bradley Airport, which is nice. So I'm just gonna unpack some of my things. I think I'm probably gonna go down to the um, restaurant, see what I can get for dinner. It's about quarter after six. And then I don't actually fly out tomorrow until like 4 p.m. or something like that. So I'll actually just be working um, here from the hotel here most of the morning and then part of the afternoon. So the first thing I do when I check in to my hotel is I unpack all of my stuff and like get my computer set up um so i can work on stuff if i want to and unpack all of my toiletries the reason i always do that first thing is because i just want to make sure that nothing has leaked all over my bag because that has happened before and um i just want to i just want to double check that everything's a-okay from this morning once when, when i packed okay guys so i am home now and i had really nothing else remarkable happen which is why i didn't film anything else in this vlog it's always like difficult for me to film travel vlogs for work because i literally don't really do much of anything exciting like i just work and come back to the hotel and eat dinner and go to bed and do it all again the next day so i always kind of struggle trying to come up with um things to film but you guys request these videos so thank you for coming along today anyway and don't forget to check out lumi today's sponsor i'll have a link and my discount code which is gen5 in the description box below so grab one of their holiday bundles or grab some stocking stuffers for christmas and i'll see you guys in the next video bye